it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a quarterly empties. This whole bin is almost full, as you can see. I don't want to say this is the largest empties I've had, but it's up there with a lot. There is a lot in here, and it is a nice mix of makeup and skincare and body care, and my hair is driving me crazy. And yes, so if you want to see everything I've gone through in the last three months, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to pull things out and go through it. I do rate products on a meh scale. Zero being meh, I don't recommend it. Ugh. Five being like, it's average. Like, I don't think you're wasting your money, but I don't think it's amazing. 10 being holy grail, I've already repurchased. So it can be anywhere 1 through 10, but that's kind of like the gauge, I guess you could say. So we're just going to go through. There is a lot of makeup in here because I have been panning so much makeup. And I'm actually very close to finishing more makeup, but that will just roll over to the final quarter uh, of empties that will be posted in January. So let's go ahead and get into it so that this video is not super long. Um, so first... This is a holy grail. It is the Aveeno knockoff of Shave Gel. This one particular one is from Meyer. That's the one I typically buy. The Aveeno one is good in itself, but it's always just like a dollar or two more than the knockoff store brand. So I always repurchase. I've already repurchased, and I really do enjoy this. So that is a 10. I'm going to be like covered in product here soon. Okay, these next two, let me grab its partner. So here are, these are Ulta um, Color Preserve Shampoo and Conditioner Red with Vi Vibrant Color Complex. So the um, conditioner, you can see, has been completely used. There is about maybe this much left in the shampoo. I don't really like, okay, the shampoo is too drying and it's very runny like water. So when I used it, it just got all over my shower and then it's red. Um, so it like just went everywhere and it really dried my hair out, like uncomfortably dry. Um, and then this, the Ulta, other Ulta one, the red conditioner, sulfate. I like that it's sulfate free and all that stuff for both. And it does, they don't test on animals and all that. That's great. But this conditioner is red as well. It's not quite as runny. It is very conditioning. Um, and it kind of helps make up for how drying the shampoo is. But I would not repurchase these. These are a five. I don't think they're awful, but I don't think they're great by any means. Um, they will probably do, and they're super cheap, especially if you get them on sale. Like Ulta's buy two, get two free, that kind of thing. But... Yeah, I would skip it, honestly. But, yeah, I couldn't even finish that shampoo. I mean, I just accepted the quits on that. Um, here is Redken. This is the conditioning uh, of the color extend. I have just a little bit left of the shampoo. I feel like that's how it always works. The conditioner runs out first. I do really enjoy this. It is another color captivating care for color treatment. This is nice. Um, I think it does extend and it is sulfate free as well. It doesn't irritate my scalp as much as other things, um, but it's a five. I don't know that I would repurchase, but again, Redken not on sale is kind of expensive, but it is always on sale. So you can definitely get it affordable, but I don't know. I think if you really want a good color extending shampoo, you probably just want to get something from a salon maybe. I don't know. Um, in here, I think I have one more. Here we go. This is Joyco. This is the K-Pak Color Therapy. Again, this is the conditioner. I have just a little bit left in the shampoo. I'm trying to work through all of it. This is nice. I would recommend this over the other two, and this is a color extending one as well. Um, again, Joyco goes on sale full price it's kind of expensive but on sale it's good TJ Maxx always has it so um this one irritates my scalp a little bit but they do have one that's sulfate free that um I wouldn't mind trying but I think this does preserve the color in your hair um a lot of stylists do recommend the Joyco brand this one in particular so this one's a I would give it like a six or seven um my scalp I have said in every video when I talk about my scalp I have psoriasis on my scalp so it's easily like irritated and flamed up <laughs> flamed up 
from products and this really irritates it. So I don't know, maybe the sulfate one would be better. So that's the only reason I would rank it lower. But if you don't have that issue with your scalp, you might like it even more than I do. So Joyco I think is probably the best that I've tried um, that will extend your color. So you can tell I've been on quite a journey with those. I have finished Shiseido Facial Cotton Rounds. These are good. They're $10. Um, Ulta now has them. Sephora has them. So you can get them on sale from time to time. And you do get, what is it, like 120 No, 165 So I think that's worth the $10. Everyone tries to dupe these. Just pay the $10. I think they're great. And I they are $10. i have already repurchased them. I have a few body washes here. I have one from St. Eyes, the Nourish and Smooth Body Scrub. This one is Oatmeal Softens Skins and Smooths Away Dryness. I appreciate St. Ives for having better ingredients and being affordable, like it's paraben free and that kind of thing. Um, but this one in particular, it's not much of an like a body scrub. It's like barely scrubs. So for that, I would give it a five. But I do appreciate St. Ives. Here is um, OGX, their Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. I give this a 5, a 6 as well. This is one of those products that it doesn't disappoint you, but it doesn't wow you. It's so affordable, and they have so many different smells and types that I would definitely continue to repurchase OGX, but it's not the type of thing, at least for body wash, that I'm like, ooh, I need it, I need it. So it's solid. It's just like average in the middle, meh, you know. Um, let's see, let's switch to skincare. So Andalou Naturals, this one is the facial toner, A Thousand Roses, 10. I've repurchased it. I'm trying the, um, the vitamin C one, but either way, this is a 10 for me. I use it every single day and I love it. I'll spray it on my face in the morning and then use a Shiseido wipe to wipe it away. And that's just kind of how I wash my face in the morning. Next, I have Yes 2 Coconut Hydrate and Restore. This is the Yes 2's version of micellar water. It's average. I'd give it a 5. Um, it can get face makeup off really well. It really struggles with mascara. Um, but I think a lot of micellar's water, micellar waters struggle with mascara. But it's a 5. I don't think you'd be disappointed. But I'm definitely not wanting to run to the store and repurchase it. Alright, here is another one. This is the Pearlescence Coconut Water. This I got from TJ Maxx. It's a hydrating face mist. This was in a few, few project pans, so you've probably seen it. I actually would give this a 7. I really like it. And it's hard to repurchase things from TJ Maxx because their selection is never like consistent. But this was really nice. This actually got me into facial sprays in general. So now in the morning when I do the toner and I wipe it away, I'll put lotion on, which I actually, do I have one in here? I do not, but I use the Andalou Naturals lotion and then I'll spray a mist on and that is all because of this. So I really love it and I really appreciate it for turning me on to mist. And if I ever saw it again at TJ Maxx and I was out of a current face mist, then I definitely would repurchase it. Here is a makeup item. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Love this. It's a 10. I already have another one. I got them on sale on, uh, I think it was Ulta's website because they repackaged, so they basically clearanced out the old packaging. Here is a Nature's Gate Glow Lotion for Medium Skin Tones. This is supposed to be like a natural fake tan lotion like the Jergens one. As you can see, it's like here. I struggled so bad with it. I've had it for like four years, legit four years. And I got it because I saw it in a magazine. They recommended this as like product of the summer for an all natural glow. And the thing is, like, I don't know if you can see the cap, how it's like, um, orange. It will legit turn you orange, like fake tan or like around your hands. And if you don't rub it in right, it will definitely turn you orange. It is so intense. Like you basically have to have like freshly shaved legs and they have to be moisturized and then you put this on and make sure you rub it in. And because it is that much work, I just didn't use it. And then I found that if I mixed it with just a normal lotion, it would kind of, I don't know, 
you can make it work at that point. But here's the other thing. It transfers onto stuff like socks and shoes and sheets. And this is a zero. Like, I finally decided I'm just going to stop fighting with it and throw it away. I just, you guys know, I, like, am all about the project painting and making my products go a long way. And I just, I just can't. I just can't. Here, oh, Derma E. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Renewal Cream Vitamin vitamin A retinol. I really, my hair is driving crazy. Anyways, I really like Derma E and Lou Naturals. And number seven is becoming another one of my favorite skincare brands. I'm going to give this a nine. I did not repurchase this particular one by Derma E, but I did repurchase a new nighttime lotion from Derma E. It has vitamin C and it's actually in a glass jar. It's so fancy. But I like them over Andalou Naturals for night cream because it's a little bit more affordable. But this stuff is really good. And this lasted me, it's four ounces, legit six months or so. And it was like, I don't know, $12 to $15. So yeah, I really like Derma E products. And I have already repurchased another Derma E night cream. And then, of course, for contacts, still working through the Renew for a contact, like cleansing, and then clearing. Clear care for just deep cleaning at night. Still loving both of those. I always like to throw them in to show that I'm still using them. All right, and then here we go with deodorant. This Old Spice uh, Wolf Throne, Wolf Thorn. This is ooh, almost dropped. <laughs> this is a male um, deodorant, but it doesn't have like um, aluminum and other things in it. I learned about this from um, Melissa Melps years ago. And so I actually, I went through this and I rebought, a, repurchased a full one. Dove Sensitive has always been my go-to um, deodorant, but this Old Spice one is actually replacing it. So both, they're both tins for me, but um, I, I keep both on hand. This Dove one I keep on hand for working out mostly, and then this Old Spice one is just mostly for like day-to-day -day for work, and I really do like it. Another skincare, this is Now Solutions Vitamin C and C Buckthorn. I love this. This I get on Amazon or Vitacost. It's $10. I absolutely love this so much. It's a, it's a 10. I haven't repurchased it in a while, but I do repurchase it often. Here I have the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm going to give it a 7. Um, I talked about this when I panned it in my Project Pan, but basically it's just, it's a time intensive product. Like you spray it on your face and you have to allow time to let it dry before you put your primer. And when I'm trying to get ready in like 10 or 15 minutes, I just don't have that time. And then I tried using it as a setting spray, but it gets tacky and that tackiness doesn't go away when you use it as a setting spray. So, yeah. Makeup! Okay, I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous 105. This is a 5. I think it's solid, but I think it's been discontinued. But um, that product's really good depending on what primers and setting sprays and all that you use with it. Same with this. This is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I would give this more of a 7. This is a really good product, especially for like no makeup days. You just want to like even out your skin tone. I really do like it for that. I have said in my Project Pan videos, this product's too light to really support a full face of makeup, but it is really good for like those light days. I did appreciate using that. I have a bunch of... um these little foil packets, I think I just need to stop putting them in here because I use them in my rolling project pans and I mean, I think it's kind of boring. Like there's a Noviac Shampoo, Dermalogical Active Moisture, Origins Clean and Improvement Charcoal Mask. There is Sephora Mask that I use, uh, Chlorine sham or Shampoo, and then Clarence, um, lotion. These are all good, but I don't think this is enough product to really get an idea of a product. You can kind of get a sense for it, but me. Okay, here's another sample. Fresh Soy Face clean Cleanser. This is nice. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's like a five. Like, I think it's good, and it feels nice, and it's super gentle on the face, but me. Um, Gold Bomb Ultimate Healing Aloe. I actually did enjoy this. I bought this for a trip, uh, just to be travel size. It's a five. I think it was good. Um, here is my 10 Tom's um, Anti-Plaque and Whitening. Basically have this in every empties with my 3D white. I had just a little bit of my Crest 3D white so I didn't throw it in. But um, I use this in the morning, the 3D white in the evening. And it's just what helps me keep them white. <laughs> okay, and the rest is 
100% makeup. Gotta fluff the hair for the makeup. Guys, this makeup has been on for 12 hours. Looking good, right? I have the um, Yes Please palette by ColourPop on my eyes. Ooh I'm gonna do a tutorial soon with it. Anyways, nail polish. This is a zero. This is Wet n Wild Mega Last. Um, this one is in Wet Cement. The color's beautiful. It liter literally chips like on all fingers within 24 hours. It's two dollars, but that's what you're getting for two dollars. So yeah. This I'm gonna give this a seven. I really enjoyed this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth 125. Um, this is really nice drugstore powder. Like, I don't feel like I need to always have it on hand, but this is solid. I really enjoyed using it. Here, oh my gosh, a blush! This one is a Tarte one that was in a holiday palette called Prim. So I use that bad boy. Uh -huh -huh. Um, here is another product. This is Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, just a little sample size, but this is nice. Um, I didn't rate, okay, the Tarte. Tarte solid. I'll give it a 7. Like, it's just good stuff. This, I give a 7 as well. I can see what the hype is about it, but I don't feel like I need to go repurchase it and always have it on hand. This is so gross, but this is the Mar Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss by Bare Minerals in Spark Plug. I left this in my desk drawer at work for literally, like, 6 months. And when I found it, it was, like, all separated. I'm like, okay, it's time to go. But this product is really nice. It's really comfortable, and it has, like, a mintiness to it. So I really do appreciate that. Um, I give it a 5. Like, I don't feel like I need to repurchase it, but it was really nice. Here is NARS um, Creamy Custard. This is obviously a sample size. This is, like, a 5. The color wasn't right. It was too dark for me. But I used it up in the summer because I know that if that if it would ever work for me, that would be the time. Um, this product is very finicky. People always rave about it, but for me, some days it looked good, some days it didn't, and I think that's really because it doesn't play well with all the products. So, that's one thing I've really learned from project planning is, I mean, products, they don't, some, you know a product's good when it plays well with all other products, but some products really, they just don't want to be friends with some other setting powders and stuff. Um, here is the Ben Fit Gimme Brow. This is a 10. This one is in 1. I actually really like this. I got it as a sample and I bought a full size. So I'm finishing up another brow product and then I'll be using this one for a long time. This is another 10. This is Benefit Their Real Mascara. Obviously a sample, but I repurchased a full one. I really love it. Um, this color tattoo I, by Maybelline and Bronze Truffle. It's like the crown. I give it a 5. Like, it's good. Meh. Um, and then this mascara lash primer by Mary Kay, I give it an 8. I really did enjoy it while I used it. Um, not enough to go repurchase, but maybe if I was at a Mary Kay party or something, I would definitely like to have another one. And I found that if you put a primer under the, their reel, then you can actually get it off because this one's really hard to get off. But if you put it over a mascara or a primer, you'll be fine. Whew! Oh my god. That is everything. That is freaking amazing um let me just put it all back in all right we went we just went through all of that that was a mouthful i feel exhausted from talking about it but anyways thank you all for watching i hope you stayed until the end and appreciated it i really love keeping my empties for you guys and so, yeah, we'll be back with another one in January. Let me know what products you've been loving down in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!